Hello and welcome back to another tutorial in which I want to show you how you can use and customize the tabs element in Tribe Architect. So as you might know by now, the tabs element will help you organize your content into different tabs, allowing you to place any kind of element you need inside as many tabs as you need. Now this tutorial will show you how to add the element, how to customize it and understand how to use all of its options. So to get started, you will need to open a page or post in the Tribe Architect editor. So let's do that. And now once the page or post has opened, you will need to click on the plus sign from the right sidebar right here, which will open the list of all the Tribe Architect elements. Now you can scroll down to look for the tabs element, or you can just start typing its name in the search bar. So as you can see, we found the element. In order to add it to the poster page, all you have to do is grab it and drag and drop it on your editor. Now once you do that, this pop-up will open where you can choose a template for the element. Now feel free to browse through them and when you find the right one, all you have to do is click on it and it will immediately be applied on the element. Now what you have to know here is that even if the tab element that you've seen in the pop-up had a certain color, after you select it, this will inherit the theme color if you've already chosen one. So for example, in my case, even if the element had a different color in the pop-up, this will inherit this black color and we'll get to this in a moment. But first of all, let's take a look at the left sidebar where all the options of the element can be found. Now as you can see, the first section right here is the template options section, which will basically allow you to change the template if you want to do that. All you have to know here is that if you do decide to change the template, you should do so before actually changing the content because if you do change it, then all of the modifications that you have previously made will be lost. So for example, if I feel like I want to change this template with another one, all I have to do is click on this field and just simply click on another template and click on replace template. All right, so now that we're happy with our template, we can move on to the main options of this element. So the first option, which is basically a button that we see here, is also the most complex one of this element. So the edit tab items option will allow you to enter the edit mode of the tabs element. Now let's click on it. And once we do that, we are gonna immediately see that if we hover over the tabs element, each and every small item will highlight upon hovering over it. What this means is that we will be able to customize all of the elements that our tabs element is built out of. Now, firstly, you will have to know that you can actually add any other elements you wish inside the tabs element. So for example, let's say I want to add an image right next to this text. What I can do is simply click on this plus sign, grab the image element and simply drag and drop it where I want it to be placed. And as I do that, my media library will open and I will be able to choose any picture I want and insert it right next to the text element. So you can basically do that with any other element and really customize the content of the tabs element as you wish. Another really cool thing that you can do while in the edit mode is to change the way each element looks like in different states. So for example, if I select one of the tab items, I can go to the top side of the left sidebar right here. And if you click on state normal, as you can see, a drop down will open with three different states. Now, this means that you will be able to change the way the tab items look like in the normal, in the hover, and in the selected states. So for example, if one tab is selected, then you can change its background color. So for example, you can add another layer and this way when a tab is selected, it will have this pattern over it. So this would be the selected state and the hover state represents the way the tab looks like when someone hovers over it. So we can also change this color, for example. And if we apply everything, you will see that upon hovering, each tab item will change its color and when you open it, it will also have this pattern added over it. Now let's go back to the edit mode and I have showed you the way to customize different states. 
So let's move on to the currently styling section. Before we do that, I just want to tell you that if you want to see the content of each tab in the edit mode, you will have to double click on the tab that you want to open. This is because if I only click once on this tab, I will be able to edit it using the left sidebar options. But if I double click on it, as you can see, the content of the first tab will open. Another way to open the tab is to hover over it and click on this show option right here. All right, so let's go back to the currently styling section. The group styling option can be used when editing the tabs element. So you are able to use the group styling feature to customize various items of the tabs element. This will just help you edit everything in a really easy and fast manner. All right, so as you can see, you will have this drop down here, which will have a list of different options that you can simply click on and the respective items will be selected. So right now, if I go to the typography section, for example, and add an italic formatting, as you can see, all of my tab items will be affected. Now, this is because the group styling is activated and group tab items are selected, which are these items right here. So let's take them one by one. So the grouped tab items refer to all of these tab items. Then the grouped tab contents refer to all of these content boxes. So again, if we go and add the italic and underline formatting options, then if we go ahead and open the other tab contents, we will see that all of the content has inherited these options. So what if you want only one tab to be underlined, for example? Well, all you have to do is select the tab content again and click on this locket icon right here, which will deactivate the group styling for the item that is currently selected. So in our case, it would be the content of the third tab. So right now, if I go ahead and uncheck the underline and the italic formatting options, as you can see, the third tab has changed, but the second and the first tab will remain the same. This is what you can do if you want to only apply the settings for certain tabs or items. So now if we go back to the dropdown, we will actually see the tab content tree right here. And this has been added because for this element, we have disabled the group styling. Now the next option that you have here is all titles. And as the name says, you are able to edit all the titles at once. So for example, if we want to transform the titles and make them all caps lock, we can do that. And this will be applied for every title of our tabs content. Now, lastly, you can use the all paragraphs option when group editing the tabs elements. So again, this will come in very handy if you want to make modifications to the content of all the tabs and not change them individually. All right, so this is how to use the group styling feature. And if you want to exit it, you can simply click on this option, which will take you back to the main options of the tabs element. All right, so if we go back to the edit mode, I still have some options that I want to show you. And these are the main options of the tab items, for example. So if you are editing one of the tab items, then you will notice these main options right here. As you can see, you can change the text type of the tab items. You can also add or hide the icon and you can also include a tab image. So the text type can easily be changed. All you have to do is click on this field and this list will open and you can make your text a heading, a paragraph or simply plain text. Next, you can choose to hide or show the icon that you may or may not have by default as this depends on the template that you've chosen. Now, if you do want to show an icon, you can change its options from here. So you can change the icon if you want. Let's change this one and just click on select. Then you can change its color, of course, if you want, and also the size of it. Next, if you want to add a tab image, you can do that by activating this option, but this will cancel the icon. So you can either choose to show an icon or an image. And if you choose an image, as you can see, a small image element will be added to each tab. And if you click on it, the media library will open and you will be able to add any image that you want from your media library. All right. So besides the main options, you will also be able to use these other sections to customize the tab items of the tabs element. Now, really quickly, if you choose the group tab contents section here, then you will be able to use all of these sections to customize the tab contents. 
and if you choose the titles again you will have all of these options that you can use so this would be it for the edit mode of the tabs element now if we want to go back to editing the tabs element outside the edit mode we can simply click on this done button right here and we will be taken back to the main options of the element so as you can see the first one here will be the colors option that will actually be inherited from the theme color or the landing page color depending on what content you're editing so what i meant here in the beginning was that even if the tabs templates show different colors here when you add them to your page or post they will inherit the theme or the landing page color so in my case the color has been inherited from my thrive team builder theme that i have created myself so if i go to the branding section of the thrive team builder dashboard and access the theme colors section i can see that this is the color that was inherited by my tabs element so this is a really cool thing to know that the tabs element now has the smart color technology included all right so the next option is the default tab option and this is where you can choose which tab will open when someone accesses the tab element so you can choose between all of your tabs from here next you have the hover effect option which represents what happens when someone hovers over one of your tabs now if you click on it you will see some animations right here so for example if we choose the underline effect whenever someone hovers over the tabs a small underline will appear under the name now the next option is called content switch animation and of course as the name says you can choose an animation for the content of the tabs so for example when i click on a tab to open it the content can slide in from the left let's say so as you can see the effect will immediately appear you can play around and see which effect will fit your website best now lastly you will have the enable progress styling option which is disabled by default but if you activate it then the selected tab and any other tab placed before that will be styled as active so if you remember for our active tabs we've added these diagonal stripes and as you can see as i am selecting more tabs these will all be marked as active so let's see again if i go from tab to tab each tab will remain styled as an active tab whereas if i deactivate this option only the selected tab will have this styling applied to it all right so besides all of the main options of course feel free to use the rest of the options for which we have dedicated articles in our knowledge base now another thing that i have not yet mentioned is that you can have as many tabs as you want in the tabs element all you have to do to add new tabs is enter the edit mode by clicking on this edit tab items button and hover over a tabs item and as you can see a plus sign will appear here now if you click on it a new tab will be added on the right side of the plus sign so if i want a tab to be added here i can simply click on this plus sign and it will be added if you go back to the main options and choose the default tab as you can see the new tabs have been added here now these were the options that you can use to customize the tabs element as you wish but before i finish this tutorial i just want to show you one of the features that you can use with the tabs element and for that i am going to add a button element on my post so let's say right here and of course this can be customized as you wish but what i want to show you is that you can actually add jump links that will lead the users to a certain tab so to do that with the button element selected i'm gonna go to the button link section and click on jump link i'm gonna also activate the smooth animation option and click on select target now as you can see i do have the option to select one of the tabs so if i select the third tab for example and click on add jump link then whenever someone clicks on my button they will go straight to the third tab so let's preview this i just saved the work and i'm gonna click on preview and let's see what happens if i click on the go to the third tab button as you can see the third tab has opened now these were the ways in which you can add and customize the tabs element in Tribe Architect. I really hope this tutorial was useful for you and make sure to also check out the rest of the articles and tutorials from our knowledge base.